good morning. So here we are one year later uh, after the Derek Chauvin, George Floyd incident uh, captivated the hearts and minds of uh, just about every American citizen. And here we are a year later, uh, they're in court or whatever. And now that the video has resurfaced recently, <coughs> I'm reminded that uh, not only is this one of the most disturbing and perplexing videos I've ever seen in public in my life, uh, there's still one burning question that I have not been able to find the answer to. <clears throat> so what I want to do now is put this question out there for anyone who may have some information regarding this mystery. Okay, so in the Chauvin Floyd video where the cops apprehend this guy and subsequently uh, restrain him in front of a group of people out in the public <coughs> uh, putting his knee on the guy's neck until he passed away and died or whatever allegedly uh, I still do not understand how Derek Chauvin's police vehicle license plate only said police. Now, follow me here, okay? This seems like a pretty simple thing, but let's 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 back it up just a, just a little bit. Uh, every on-duty police vehicle has to be registered and has a license plate with numbers and letters just like you and I. Uh, but this license plate on this police car in the video showing George Floyd snuff video uh, showing the George Floyd snuff film that police car has a personalized plate on it that says police P-O-L-I-C-E Was it registered that way? Are all Minnesota on-duty police vehicles, law enforcement vehicles, uh, registered in that similar fashion? Was there a different registered plate, registered plate on the front of the vehicle? Now, if you really let this question sink in, you'll see that what I'm talking about is it has some pretty serious implications here. <clears throat> if anyone out there knows, for whatever reason, why that particular law enforcement vehicle had that plate, or if this is something related to how law enforcement registers its vehicles in Minnesota, then feel free to chime in and let me know. Uh, because I'm at a loss. I haven't been able to find a reason why that police car had a plate that said police on it. Um, I've asked my friends in law enforcement, I've inquired of strangers in law enforcement that I've come across in my daily comings and goings. Like uh, there was a couple of cops that stopped to ask me about my drone flight and it was just purely a uh, curiosity. You know, uh, they, I wasn't in violation of anything. They've just wondering about the drone and what got me interested we had a conversation and in the middle of that conversation I asked them I said have you ever seen anything like this and they said no every law enforcement officer that I've spoken to personally is puzzled by this as am I uh, I'll drop another video explaining 
why this is so important. If you can't see it on your own, then yeah, just, just tune in for the other video. But right now, a year later, it's not George Floyd's death or the trial or any of that that really captivates me. It's how in the fuck is an on-duty police vehicle not properly registered? Y'all find out something, let me know, man. Till then, peace.